I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to the Port Leash Shopping Centre for the Ballinakill Vintage and Classic Motor Show for 2018. Now behind me I have an Overland Whippet from 1927. So good. <laughs> the guys are just offloading it here and they're going down two levels below to the Classic Car Show. So plenty more cars to show you down below. But uh, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Now it's known as the Phaeton body style over in America, but in Europe it's known as the touring style body. But uh, yeah, pretty cool to see it. 1927 Overland Whip It. And now he's gonna whip it down below. <laughs> okay guys, let's go. <laughs> Okay, we've got a nice orange Mark II Ford Escort pulling in there. But uh, over here, boys, check this out. We have a baby Austin from the 30s. Tiny little car. <laughs> very, very small. But uh, I'll just show you another Riley over, but uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And then over here, they're just offloading a Riley from the 30s as well, a racing car. But. Uh, yeah, some very nice cars here at this show. But uh, yeah, the Overland now is just making its way down below to go on display. <laughs> okay, check out the Ford Cartina pickup. That is a nice shade of orange. How are things? <laughs> oh, that looks class. Okay, guys, check this out. Based on a Model A Ford from 1931. Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> what an incredible piece of work! Oh my goodness! Check this out! Look at the back wheel, the size of it! This is just mental! <laughs> wow! Okay guys, we're down here at the show! I'm inside the back of a 1918 Ford Model T! So this is definitely the oldest car I've ever been in. Uh, this is class. The open top Model T. But uh, yeah, all the cars are parking down here now for the show and more cars to come. So yeah, it's going to be a good one, guys. Okay, there he goes, parking up in the 1918 Ford Model T. So big thanks to him for giving me a lift down. Okay, I'm gonna press the horn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check out the small little engine in the Ford Model T. It's a three liter, guys. I didn't think it was gonna be a three liter, but of course they wouldn't be very powerful. But uh, yeah, <laughs> back to the old days. <laughs> okay, we've got a bunch of Ford Model Ts here. We have this guy, uh, he's dressed up as a What's he dressed up as? <laughs> he told me he just owns all those cars. Uh, I doubt it though, I doubt it. <laughs> okay, we've got this old bicycle as well, from 1934. We've got the old penny farthing. Can you imagine riding one of these? <laughs> I'd love to have a go on one of them. And check this out, we have this 1953. This is a Fordson Thames. So have a look at this, the old fire engine. Look, check inside there. We've got the uh, the dummy there with the helmet. In the Fordson, huh? From Leash County Fire Brigade. Let's have a look around this fire engine here. Now, the guy that won the show last year, he won in a Fiat 127. Um, he also owns this. So he's got it in fantastic condition. And look at the water pump there behind. You would pull that pump out water from your fire hydrant and this goes back to the old times <laughs> when they used to run around um, with these carts here and extinguish fires with their bucket of water and the ladder and then we have the Land Rover there this is from 1956 so Leash County had seven of these registered back in the mid 50s 
and uh, of the seven five of them are still running and they're all still in Ireland and this from Ni Fordson also came from Ireland uh, these uh, great to see all these vehicles but um, yeah you'd be shocked at what you'd see at this show uh, we've got the old MG there and the 380 SL Mercedes okay I'm just going to walk over here because there's a really special Fiat I want to show you uh, it's grabbing some attention I just have to get over a wire here <laughs> but uh, this Fiat check this out from 1904 this car is just incredible guys now it did originate from America uh, apparently it was buried underground but that car is worth well over half a million uh, so I've been told but uh, yeah just it's just an incredible car and uh, check there beside it we have the old Cadillac and we also have a Buick and let me move over here we have the old Honda Civic from 1978 uh, I always have to get the Civic in and yeah that's very nice the Cadillac but uh, yeah that Fiat there from 1904 absolutely incredible so long before Alfa Romeo long before Ferrari you had these Fiat's driving the roads <laughs> and uh, yeah we have the old Singer as well the original Singer so you ha you've heard of Singer sewing machines this was the Singer um, automobile company but uh, yeah the original Singer another vintage Rolls Royce there and we have this Renault the old Renault I, uh, I shot this last year um, but uh, if you look there, look, uh, I've been told that they are bullet holes in the old Renault. <laughs> yeah, so it's one of the few Renaults you'll find from 1916. Yeah, the Type EU. And then we have the Morris Minor there. Uh, always great to see them with the wood on the rear. <laughs> and we have the Ford Anglia. Just going down as quickly as I can. We have the Whippet. We've seen that car already. We have the other Ford Model T. That's the one I drove down in. Um, moving down quickly, we have the old Rover. And beside it, we have this Rover for sale. So the owner of this says that it's for sale for between three and a half and 4,000 euro uh, from 1960. And beside it, we have the Austin, another old Austin. Uh, that's for sale as well from 1959. So you will see cars for sale at this show. And we have this, I think it's from the 30s or, yeah, I think it's 30s or 40s. I'm not sure what year this is. That's an old Riley. And we have this Rolls Royce. That's from 1979 with an original Dublin registration. So I'm just gonna move over here. I just want to show you guys the trophies. So we have the trophies there. So if I can just move in and show them the trophies. So this is the perpetual trophy. Yeah, and from the uh, club, okay? And then this is, uh, that's for best car. That's for best classic car and best club stand. So just some of the trophies that they're giving out today. But uh, yeah, this is the perpetual trophy. So it has to be given back after a year, but you get to keep that one. If you're a member of the Ballinakill Club, so that is what's happening there. If I walk around here, we have this old uh, Ferrari replica. So yeah, it's a replica of a 1948 T48166 Corsa Spider uh, Ferrari. So yeah, it's, it's an excellent recreation. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, <laughs> And now all these guys will be taking part in the Gordon Bennett run that's happening in June of next year. So if you know something about the history of the Gordon Bennett run, it was held in Ireland back in 1903 and over one million people attended this um, Gordon Bennett run back in Ireland in 1903. It was the biggest event in Ireland after the Pope. Um, or before the Pope visited Ireland but uh, 
yeah, incredible history with the Gordon Bennett run. But check this out as well. We have the Auto Union van here. So <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. The Auto Union van. Now, um, this is from 1958. But check inside this. Now, the great thing about the Auto Union van, let me, um, let me just close the door there a minute. You'll see the sign there. This is before Audi, uh, long before Audi Auto Union. But the two little nuts there are the two O's in Auto Union. But um, yeah, what you could do is, if you were delivering in a very tight street and you had your van parked up to a car, another car or a wall even, you could, um, you could offload your van through the side here. Look, you could fold up that seat and you could walk out through here and offload your van back in 1958. Uh, let's have a look. That's your fuel tank and that's your coolant there. But uh, you can just see the size that the engine takes up. It's so little. I mean, it's literally just the wheel and half again of the wheel. It just takes up so little room. But of course, with all this crash safety regulations nowadays, you have to have a bit more frontage on your vans. But yeah, very unusual to see the Auto Union van here. Uh, and look at the headlights as well. <laughs> yeah, you have the covers up there and the headlights, headlights are down here. But uh, yeah, quite unusual to see your DKW F800 van from Auto Union. I really like that. And we even have an Auto Union motorbike from 1955. So check this out, look. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they built motorbikes as well. Still chatting about DKW Auto Union. Look at these photos here from the mid 50s, look. So you get in your chassis and engines in from Germany and they get onto the production line. That's your Auto Union cars. And look, your production line will roll around here. So these were all built in Ballincollig in Cork in Ireland. So mid 50s and there you see your DKW vans and the pickups there. And there's now an Aldi supermarket built on that location down in Ballincollig in Cork. So great piece of history on the DKW van. I just want to show you one more thing as well on the van. Look, we have the wheel here underneath the seat to save space in the rear your spare wheel so yeah the next time you look at your Audi you'll remember that it came from Auto Union it's actually an Auto Union badge with this piece taken away yeah great piece of history on the DKW Soon enough we'll have the winner of the show, but I just want to show you a few more cars here. Look at this two-door Volvo. It's a 262C with a 2.7 litre engine. And uh, the strange thing about this car is that, look, it was designed by Bertone. I'll just show you the leather interior and the three-speed automatic gearbox. Yeah, so the values of these cars have actually risen because David Bowie used to own one of these cars and his one was sold recently for £72,000 <laughs> for your Volvo 262C yeah so this example as I said from 1979 but um, they were built for the American market but very rare in Ireland to see a two-door 262C and we move over here beside it, a very special car this as well, 1987 Opel Monza GSE. So this one is in absolutely mint condition from 1985 and an original Dublin registration as well. So they have a 3 litre straight 6 petrol engine um, developing 180 horsepower. Uh, let's just have a quick look inside here. Look at this guys, it's got the digital dashboard and digital rev counter and all, look and the 5 speed manual gearbox Wow, this is in fantastic condition and the seats there 
very nice piece of design. And just checking out the rear here, and it has the original boot spoiler there. So this car is completely original, as it left the factory back in 1985, so fantastic example. And we have a pretty rare Opel Ascona, the 1.8 injection here beside it. And this is from 1986, the convertible version. So yeah, um, some very unusual Opels here on display. Uh, we just had another Monza just leave and another bunch of Opels down below. But uh, yeah, quite a nice showing of Opels here at the Ballinakill show. Yeah, check out all these little dinky cars and the petrol cans and the old Michelin man. And look at this, we have a small little vintage baby car here. <laughs> Watch this guys, I can't even fit my foot. I can hardly fit my foot in it, it's so small. But uh, yeah, you'd be surprised what you'd find at these shows. Okay, this guy is getting a bit of a jump start there. <laughs> from the Ford Capri GT. From 1971. Another minter here. <laughs> oh man, I love that colour as well. And it has the original Irish registration. Yeah, 1971 Ford Capri GT. Okay, we've got some cars heading away now and check out this 1984 Honda Prelude with its original paintwork. <laughs> this car has never been sprayed. Original paint from 1984. Great condition. <laughs> and the Anglia heading off also. I just want to swing over here. We have a 42 year old Mark II Ford Escort. He's got the headlight, the hella lamps on front. Uh, yeah, check out the engine there. Great work done on this. Absolute mint condition. He's got the harness seat belts as well. But uh, yeah, let's have a look inside in the boot. <laughs> ah, great work done on this. Yeah, so it's going to get busy now at the moment. Car is heading off. But that is a very nice RS2000 there. Oy, he's just off in his sidecar there <laughs> on the motorbike. And we have the old MG here from 1972. But this is the winning car. So the Ballinakill Classic Car Club, this is a member of the club and he has won the Perpetual Trophy. So he'll have to give back this next year, but he gets to keep the little one there. But uh, he's got an absolute mint. 1973 BMW 2002 Touring with a four-cylinder two-liter engine so yeah it's in fantastic condition as you can see um, yeah so the judges were going around there's a judge from Waterford and a judge from Tipperary and they went around today and nobody seems to know who they are they go around inconspicuously judging the cars and that is the club winning car so well done to him, the 1973 BMW 2002 Touring. So this is it guys, this is the winning car. So it's the Riley from the 30s. This is the car that I videoed upstairs before it even came down to the show. So he has won best car of the show. And there is the trophy. So it has a Riley engine, a 1250 Riley engine, and it's a recreation of the Rileys that would have raced in the 30s. So uh, yeah, <laughs> incredible job he's done on that car. today from the Ballinakill Vintage and Classic Owners Club show here in Port Leash <laughs> and the two hillmans heading off <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna leave you all there thank you all very much for watching and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video so until then take care and thanks for watching cheers 
Okay, here we go again. Take four. 